You can walk on the road now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know? Hold up, buddy. Hazel? Uh... Hey, Basil. Hi, Sunny. You found your way back home. I don't know if I ever said this properly, but... I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling. The guilt in our hearts. Even if you try to bottle it all up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay. That we have no choice but to carry on. But that's up to you. Aubrey, Kill, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that. But the photos in our album, they're not just photos, they're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close. And remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks like I'm burdening you again. Path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. Not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Sunny, let's make some new memories together, okay? Basil, I'm sorry! Is he just gone? Like that? Really? Your acknowledgement of the truth has come at a great cost. It's not too late for redemption. Fortunately, you still know the way back home. Okay. Just wanted to see if I could go find Basil at his house. I didn't want to fucking leave the truth. That's not my intention. My intention is to find the truth. Don't forget it's in the toy box. The real question is, where is the toy box? Oh. Oh. Is it in here? Oh, well, I'm looking all around the room and it isn't in here, but there's Mari and Muo. Sunny, 
almost time. You've been through a lot these past few days. You must be tired. We all make mistakes. You've been running from this one for a long time now. It's tough to own up to them sometimes. But you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Sonny. You've worked really hard to get to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. Know that I'll always be watching over you, okay? As long as you remember me, I'll be here. Sorry, Mari. Good kitty. This closet, isn't it? The toy box. violin got a violin bands of long black hair are tangled with strings you got sheet music papers torn and wrinkled by blood it could still be red. Mario's bed. And mine too when I had nightmares. Very, very comfortable bed. It used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. Mom and dad's bed. Mom sleeps on the left and dad sleeps on the right. Whatever did happen to their dad? Violin cannot be played. Oh, can't go outside now, can I? Is this the endless highway? Uh, are those lines straight or are they are they going to the right? Yes. I got just what I needed. Uh-oh. My hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep a good poker face. Ah! When did you get it behind me, Mari? Uh, I just got here, silly. Here, I brought cookies for everyone. Hazel, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. <laughs> huh? Uh, another photo? And what's so funny anyways? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. My buddies, my buddy, my pals, my friends. Oh, I missed each and every single one of you. You look at Kill's hat. It's a four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Sonny. It's, it's too horrible. Ah, uh, I'm going to lose, aren't I? Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Sonny? Oh, hero. Don't be so humble. 
I know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. Oh, stop it, Hero. You're embarrassing me. Look at Aubrey's hand. It's a 2, a 5, and a 10. Hmm, what do you think, Sonny? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. Look at Hero's hand. It's a king, a queen, and an ace. <laughs> Talk about luck, huh, Sonny? Look at Basil's hand. It's a jack and an ace. Shh! Don't tell anyone, okay? You look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. Miss you guys. No, I... I... I <laughs> There's nothing else I can do over here! And yet I feel like I should do something! What do I do? <laughs> it's so nice to spend our last days of summer here. We should do this every year. Here, have a cookie. Aw, oh, thank you. It was perfectly crisp on the outside and sweet and gooey on the inside. Alright, fine. I'll go outside. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. Hmm. These are all memories of it that I remember, no? Alright. And there! The watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everyone. Take a slice. Yay! Thank you, hero. Look at you. Such a big, strong man. Aw, not now, Mari. <laughs> Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. That boy's going on town with that watermelon. You and Aubrey is, too. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating, Basil! Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, Basil. But bleh! Ew, gross! Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel! Haha, <laughs> you have seeds all over your face! Well... How about this, then? Ew! Stop it, Aubrey! You're going to give me cooties! Hey, Sonny, did you want to see the photos of Aubrey? Nice photo you got there. Aubrey's so cute, isn't she? I'm not going to respond to that. Let them play, hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that was you? Oh, whoops. Am I in trouble now, hero? <laughs> Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Fully eaten watermelon. It was delicious. My plastic bag. It's functional. It was backpack. It's way too big for him! Aubrey's pouch, it fits her perfectly. Mari's beach bag, it matches with Hero's. Oh, it does! <laughs> Hero's beach bag, it matches with Mari's. You see, I'm kind of with Sunny on this, on this end, you know? The plastic bag, it's functional, that's what matters! Mari's picnic basket. Uh, sure, I'll save. Memory lane. Oh, mem- Cause it's an actual lane, get it? <laughs> Basil's tote bag. It's a little small, but he likes it. I didn't even realize that Basil had a tote. Relax, unwind, and enjoy. I'm sure. I'm sure I want to go. 
you remembered taste of watermelon it tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer the violin mended a part of itself i can't even see the progress i make with the violin all right new memory the new memory just dropped Hmm, it looks like everyone fell asleep. I guess it's just us three now. Everyone must be feeling sleepy after such a big meal. Thank you for cooking for all of us, Hero. Aw, it was nothing. I'm just practicing a little. I'm glad you all liked it. One day, you're going to be a world famous chef and you're going to cook me lots of yummy food. Huh? Oh, wait, I am? Of course you are! I believe in you, hero! Well, if you say so. I'm glad you're using your camera more now, Basil. You seem to be enjoying your new hobby. Yeah, I guess it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it. Wait a sec, there's something strange in this photo. <laughs> Hector! How could you? Is it time for me to wake up? Yep, waking up right about now. Nailed it. Hey, Sunny, uh, can I poke your brain for a minute? I really love cooking and all, and Mari always says I'm really good. But my parents want me want me to become a doctor. Do you think I should become a chef? Yes, why not, Hero? You're good at cooking. <laughs> Maybe. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Hmm. Yeah. My mom's going to have something to say about that. Yep, Kel is still knocked the fuck out. More watermelon, I see. The other half is in everyone's stomachs. Hey, Sonny! I took a photo of everyone earlier. Want to see? Aw, oh, great photo you got there, Basil. This could have been such a good shot. But Hector had to ruin the photo with his poop. Ah, uh, maybe I can cover it up with tape later. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't even get to see that earlier. <laughs> oh, Hector. Hey, you know what? It could have been. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, hey, little brother. Sorry. Did we wake you up? You look so peaceful sleeping there. Reminds me of when you were just a baby. Aww. What the hell is this? Mari's cookies. Gotta have, gotta have more than one bite. You got a turd. <laughs> Gross! I touched on the turd. Oh, Hector. God. This sucks. All these happy memories. Feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. Violin mended a part of itself. Gotta keep running through memory lane over here. Hey, new memory just dropped. Hey, Sonny! Hey, Basil! What took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil! Basil! Uh, take a picture of my new raincoat! Uh, oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Sonny? It's my favorite color. Pink! Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> that sounds like a comeback I would make. <laughs> it's not a gross color. You're a gross color. <laughs> oh, Sunny, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's going to dye her hair purple. P 
purple? You want to know what color I chose? Wait, are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know, I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so too. Hmm, I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. I think she's just a little too young to dye her hair. What do you think, Sunny? Well... You know, I'm trying not to be an asshole to my friends over here. I do think she is a little too young to be dyeing her hair, but whatever. Let's go. Let's go with the guess. Sunny says he thinks that pink is a great color. See? Even Basil and Sunny agree. You're the one who's weird, Cal. Psh, whatever. What is this, Sunny? Did you want to see the photo? <laughs> nice job photo bombing. You, you didn't yeah. even get the you didn't even get the rabbit ears in the right place, Kel. You always ask to look at my photo whenever I take any pictures of Aubrey. Do I maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. God damn it, what have I done now? Yay! That sells it. One day, I'm going to dye my hair pink. But, maybe not anytime soon. My dad is kind of strict about these things. You said you and Basil were playing the new Pet Rocks game? Hmm. Maybe I should get into that too. Hey, I know. Why don't we go to Hobbies to check if they have any new stuff? Uh, sure. Real question is... Yeah, no, Hero and Mario look like they're not coming over, are they? Oh, are you going on ahead, Sunny? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Guess to hobbies we go. Are you sure you want to go? You remembered the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. Violin mended a part of itself. Violin must be hella broken. New memory drop, new memory drop. Are you sure you don't want to be in this photo, Sunny? Sunny is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Sunny. You'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> Wow, this cake looks so amazing! You've really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay! Thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. Basil, Basil! What wish are you going to make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey. Or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish... I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that! Hmm, a wish. Ah, but what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Aww, I want to know though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? <laughs> yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem. And the one, and the two, and the three, <laughs> four. I'm sorry, I'm not a good singer. Woohoo! Blow out your candles, Basil! Make a wish. He remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered Basil made his wish, he made one too. At that time, he wished for everyone to be happy. The violin mended a part of itself. 
Whoa now, it's snowing? Why is it snowing? Oh, let me guess, the next one is gonna be Sunny's birthday, isn't it? Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Sonny, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, you get just one present from all of us. It probably doesn't look like much, but we all had to save up, save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And, and Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even the one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for one really nice one. So, yeah! We hope you like it, Sonny. This is from all of us to you. The new violin. Why did my dumbest was about to say it was a cello? <laughs> My dumbass was about to be like, you got me a cello! <laughs> no, 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 no. Ta-da! It's your very own violin! We hope you like it, Sonny. Go on, try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers, as if on its own, your body ready the violin to play. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind. Because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them. Because they were your friends. The violin regained its shape. Oh. Okay, okay. I was about to say, well, which one? Oh, which one? Sunny, you're finally here. After this point, it's going to be up to you. You know, before we met, I had a lot of trouble fitting in. Even after we all became friends, I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually. But, when the others were busy doing things, you always seemed to have time for me. You would listen to me, talk for hours and hours. I could always rely on you to do that. I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years, but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless, but I'll always be here if you're okay with that. Sunny, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you, but you have to put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long, and you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen.
whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. Don't worry. No matter how far you push your feelings down, we'll always come back somehow. What you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Sunny. Break a leg for me. <laughs> All right. Whatever you end up choosing, we will always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Sunny. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah. I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Nice picnic basket. We believe in you, Sunny. An empty music stand. You want to place down your sheet music. Place the sheet music onto the music stand. Stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? You're damn right I am. Empty seat across empty seat across empty seat. Jeez, it kind of feels like what I'm feeling. <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. Because whatever, what, whatever comes out of it, it's going to be hella awesome. Allegro, Encore, Cherish! <laughs> this ain't us. I'm sorry, Omari, but this isn't us. This ain't us. This ain't us, my G. You remembered Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other.
Goodbye, Omari. Omari did not succumb. You may not succumb, but neither will we. You've caused so much suffering, yet you do nothing. You've earned nothing in return. Your friends will never forgive you. They'll abandon you. Like you did them. And that's what you deserve. Mari did not succumb. You remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace or, you know, some happiness. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care. You're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. Well, like you don't deserve to live. Everyone deserves to live. That's what I've learned. People like you don't deserve to live. Still hasn't succumbed. You remembered Hero's promise. Last time, we made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. Oh my lord. You're nothing but a liar. And when they see the truth, they'll hate you. As much as you hate yourself. No, this can't be the end. You should just die. Can't be the end. Whoops. Oh my god, I'm about to die again! You're nothing but a liar! But when they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Oh my god. How did that not kill me? If they know the truth, you'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, they will be hopeless. All you do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. Oh well. Hmm. Dude! <sighs> Who's pinging me nine times? What? Okay, just need to gather myself. 
Still encore. I've had to do this quite a big amount of times. We're going to cherish. Cherish what we have. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before. Nothing about a liar. When they see the truth, they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself. Good old Allegro. Allegro, Amore. They knew the truth. You'll never be able to regain their trust. No matter what you do, it will be hopeless. All you do is make things worse. It would be better to just die. It would be better to just die. Come on, one more hit. It would be better to just die. He still hasn't succumbed! What the fuck? Fuck it, I'm going with Cherish. I cannot afford myself to lose right away! I remember Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? You killed Mari. She loved you, and you killed her. Calm down. Calm down. Oh lord, Hero loved her, and you killed her. Sunny? Aubrey loved her, and you killed her. Uh... Oh man. Kel loved her, and you killed her. Oh. Basil loved her, and you killed her. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I mean, I'm not Sonya, but you know. You loved her, and you killed her. You loved her, and you killed her. Oh my god, there's still more! He's not succumbing! Fuck it, I'm going church. I'm going church. <laughs> He's going to kill me again, isn't he? You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Sonny? You should just die. Oh my. Come on, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. No! You should just die. If you tell me that's a game over, I am going to fucking lose it. I'm going to lose my mind. How? There is literally nothing I could have done! Wait a minute. Yes, I want to continue. I'm not giving up. Come on, Sonny. All right.
right, let's play. Mari. Oh, my friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say to be the same, Mari. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure Sunny didn't want you to end up like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should forgive yourself, Sonny. <laughs> sorry, you had to go through all of this. over it's over we need to move on Then we move on, Sunny. Encore. What happened? Okay, Sunny. Everything is going to be okay. Flowers from Charlene's family. Dear Sunny, thank you for your help during the summer. Warmest wishes for a speedy recovery. Flowers from Callan Hughes' family and Aubrey. Sending a little get well sunshine your way. We miss you, Sunny. Flowers from Shopkeep. 
Yo, Sunny. Just sending healthy vibes your way. You're always welcome in hobbies. A get well gift from Kim and Vance's mom. Get well soon, Sunny. Please get to know Kim and Vance better. They can use a good role model like you. A get well gift from Artist. Hi, Sunny. I hope you're taking it slow and easy. Get well soon and come visit. I need to ask you for some more opinions. Flowers from Sean and Karen. Wishing you well, Sunny. We're all finished moving into our new home, so please come visit sometime. Flowers from Bebe's family. Sunny, thanks for buying me that floor lamp. I never did see my son Billy again. I hope he's doing alright. Some get well gifts from Daphne and Bowen. Partake in the spread and regain strength. Come play with us again. A get well gift from Vance, Kim, Charlie, Angel, and the Maverick. Get well soon, Sunny. We'll be waiting for a rematch. We'll be watching for a rematch. They forgot the eye. Cool. Okay. Uh. Yeah, no. Not a lot of places we can go. Nor are there places where we can run. Guys! Hazel. Hey guys, I have to tell you something. <sighs> well, looks like that's the end. That's the end of the game. Ah. Oh. Unironically, that last recital did make me shed a few tears. I won't lie. It's just. It, it, there's. N there's no other feelings that I can feel other than just I'm I just I'm sorry to Maria and Sunny. But I hope I hope that Sonny has forgiven himself considering the last thing he said. God, this is actually taking me a long time to not only record and edit, but actually to release. I was talking with some a few friends the other day, and these episodes aren't probably going to release until June, and it is currently March the 21st for me. So, I have quite the workload for me. This was... This was an incredible game, I'll give you that. One more day. You okay, Basil? 
There's nothing behind us anymore. Thanks for playing. And thank you for watching as well. Um, this isn't going to be the last time I play this game. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more of this on my own spare time. But if I do end up fine, if I do end up wanting to record a second playthrough, because I was told that there are multiple rats, uh, I will. But for the time being. Thank you again for watching. My name is Pixel Love. I'll mentor more and whatnot. And I'll see you guys in maybe the next episode. Take care, everybody. And please forgive yourselves. <laughs>